welcome to my quick start guide for UE VR. Connect your headset like you would for normal PC VR. You can either do that wired or wirelessly. You could use virtual desktop, Oculus link cable, Oculus Air link or Steam link. You'll want to be in the Steam VR home or the Oculus home before you start anything else. UE VR does not run on standalone headsets. The next step is to check whether your game is compatible. If you're watching this shortly after release, you can check our compatibility spreadsheet, which has hundreds of games listed. Alternatively, you can find the Unreal Engine version. UEVR currently works on Unreal Engine 4 and 5, although not every Unreal Engine 4 version is supported. To check whether your game is Unreal Engine, you can use a tool like Steam DB, where you can go to App Info, scroll to the bottom, and see whether it's Unreal Engine or not. Alternatively, you can join the Flat to VR Discord or watch YouTube content creators as they discuss their favorite UEVR games. The next step is to run UEVR. If you don't have it installed already, go over to predog.github.io and then on the latest release for UEVR, download the zip file, extract that somewhere on your PC and then run the executable inside. It will prompt you to launch as an administrator and you may need to allow Windows Defender to run it. From there, you can see the default options and you can pick the OpenXR or OpenVR runtimes as a default. The next step is to launch your compatible game, either from Steam, Ep the Epic Game Store, Xbox Game Pass PC, itch.io, good old games, or anything else you can get an Unreal Engine executable. Now, once it's launched, I'd recommend waiting until you get to the main menu, then Alt tab, or go over to the UEVR application window. Pick your game from the drop down and click inject. Once you've clicked inject, put on your headset and mouse over to your active game window to make that dominant. In the headset, you should see the UVR menu. From here, it's good to reset your view, your standing height and center your position. You can do that by holding the right trigger and pressing X, B or Y respectively. If you're not using a controller, you can simply click on the reset buttons. To get a comfortable experience, you want to target your headset's refresh rate, be that 72, 90 or 120 hertz. You may want to start with low graphic settings and increase them over time until you find a comfortable position. Resolution plays a big part and you can change that within the UEVR menu if you're using OpenXR or within SteamVR if you're using uh, the OpenVR runtimes. I would avoid things like ray tracing, Lumen or Nanite, especially if you have lower end hardware and you may want to first target less graphically demanding games. Some basic UEVR quick controls. To open and close the menu, you can press both sticks in on the gamepad or the touch controllers. Alternatively on keyboard, it's insert, and you can change these shortcuts as you wish. To find a more comfortable camera angle, you can hold down right trigger on a gamepad or a touch controller and use the sticks to navigate in 3D space to a new position. You can also save the camera position by holding right trigger and using the D-pad to change uh, the page of shortcuts and there you can save and load different save slots that are saved to B, Y or X. As of release, there are some other accessibility options. You can turn on snap turning and choose the snap turn angle and for games with a free camera movement where you'd move the stick up and down uh, to change the camera, you can instead enable decoupled pitch that actually locks your view to the horizon so you can't look up and down with the stick and that greatly helps motion sickness uh, in some games. If you want to take other users 
settings and configurations you can use the import and export config buttons on the ui here uh, you can also drop individual folders or settings there as well and you will pick up right where the other user left off for any more advanced uh, configuration and settings please look at some other videos or go over to the flat to vr discord hope that's been an interesting first look at getting into uevr hope you all have fun